All right. At some point in the Kerbal Space Program 2, you will need to know the trust to weight ratio for the other planets outside of Kerbin Sea level. At the moment, game only display the trust to weight ratio for the Kerbin Sea level, which is not quite helpful because, well, first of all, Kerbin have atmosphere, second of all, other planets have different gravity. How do we calculate the trust to weight ratio of our landers on other planets? It's actually pretty simple, but first we need to know several numbers. We need to know the engines that we are using. If you are using several engines, different engines, you need to add up trust of several engines. So here I'm using the Poodle engine and its trust at Kerbin Sea level is 110.7 and this trust is actually in the kilonewtons which is not great for our calculation we need to know the trust in newtons let's multiply it by 1000 and this would be our trust of this lander in the newtons let's remember this number and now we need to know our weight of our lander and the actual mass is not the weight so the mass is 22.42 and we know, first of all, we need to know the mass in the kilos, in the kilograms. We need to multiply the tons by 1000 to know our mass in the kilograms, which is this number. And now we need to calculate the weight of our lander at the Kerbin Sea level. And it's pretty simple, because we only need to multiply our mass by our gravitational constant on the Kerbin Sea level, which is basically the same as the Earth gravitational constant, which is... 9.81 multiply these two numbers and here you have your weight in the newtons let's remember this now let's recall our first number which our trust in newtons and divide it by our weight in newtons recall the second number and see the result as you can see here is our trust to weight ratio on the Kerbin sea level. So the good question is, well, we already knew that, how we can actually calculate something, for example, our trust to weight ratio on wall. And it's actually pretty simple. We need to just know one extra number. So to get our gravitational constant on wall, we need to go for the tracking station and account for several numbers. First of all, we know that the game actually displays the gravity of Kerbin at as one point something something floating point error probably over here it's not equal to one which it should uh, and it's kind of important because everything outside of Kerbin will be displayed as well percentage of this number percentage of one uh, and we know the gravitational constant for Kerbin which is 9.81 and we will need to multiply this by no this number on other planets which is pre pretty simple and well Val is not a planet it is moon I know but here we have the gravity number for Val so to know the gravitational constant of Val we need to just multiply this number which is gravitational constant of Kerbin which is 1 but it's 9.81 I know it's convoluted but all we need to know is to multiply this by our 0.235 and we will get our gravitational constant on Val, which is not equal to 0.235. Yes, it's different because, well, gravitational constant of Kerbin is not 10, it's 9.81. All right, we know gravitational constant on Val, which is this number, and now we need to know the weight on Val. So we take this number and just multiply it by our mass in the kilos, which is 22,420 kilos. So this is our on well sea level let's remember this number and now let's actually look up our trust on the well and it will be different from the carbon as you can see over here the trust in one atmosphere is 110.7 kilonewtons and trust in vacuum is quite higher and now we need, just need to take this number which is our maximum trust in vacuum which is 215 kilonewtons we need to multiply this by 1000 to have our number in newtons and now we need just to divide this by our weight in newtons which is, well, this number. Yes, our trust to weight ratio on Val right now is 4.15, which is quite a lot. So we can actually take something else. For example, we can add a simple rover to this lander and still land on Val successfully. So this is how you calculate your trust to weight ratio in Kerbal Space Program 2. Thank you for watching and see you later.